Breaking news, Elon Musk's SpaceX has just pulled off its three Falcon 9 rocket flights in just 36 hours. Obviously, they broke yet another world record. Actually, they broke their own record again. The trio of Falcon 9 rockets officially became the fastest sequence of three missions by any commercial launch company in history. So what does this success mean for SpaceX and how does Elon Musk react after such an overwhelming victory? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX is highlighting the company's continuous push towards ever higher launch cadences in 2022. In February, shortly after a NASA oversight panelist revealed that SpaceX was targeting 52 launches in 2022, CEO Elon Musk confirmed that the company's goal was for Falcon to launch about once a week throughout the year. In October of 2020, continuing a tradition of extremely ambitious SpaceX launch cadence targets, Musk had also tweeted that a lot of improvements would need to be made to achieve this goal of 48 launches, which is an average of 4 launches per month in 2021. Ultimately, SpaceX fell well short of that target but did set a new annual record of 31 launches in one year, breaking its 2020 record of 26 launches by about 20%. However, perhaps even more important than the new record was the fact that SpaceX was able to complete six launches in four weeks at the end of 2021. That impressive and unexpected achievement would turn out to be an explicit sign of things to come in 2022. SpaceX's successful completion of three launches in 36 and a half hours is merely an extension of that feat. In the same four-week period at the end of 2021, SpaceX completed three of those six launches in only 69 hours. Two months later, SpaceX did it again, launching three Falcon 9 rockets from all three of its Falcon launch pads in 67 hours. More importantly, SpaceX has also managed to sustain an average cadence of more than one Falcon launch per week throughout the first half of 2022, completing its 26th launch of the year on June 19th with another two launches planned before the end of the month. SpaceX has actually sustained that cadence for even longer. Beginning on November 24th of 2021, SpaceX has now completed 32 Falcon 9 launches in less than seven months. The company's latest hat trick, or triple header, began on Friday, June 17th, when Falcon 9 booster B-1060 lifted off at 12.09 p.m. EDT from SpaceX's NASA Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39A pad helping carry another 53 Starlink V1.5 satellites into space and becoming the first Falcon booster to launch and land 13 times. Starlink 4-19 was also SpaceX's 49th dedicated Starlink launch, SpaceX's 50th consecutively successful Falcon booster landing and 100th successful Falcon booster reuse. 22 hours later, a second Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from SpaceX's Vandenberg Space Force Base SLC-4E pad at 7.19 a.m. PDT on Saturday, June 18th, carrying the first of three SARA radar satellites for Germany and an unspecified number of rideshare payloads. For the third time this year, booster B-1071 successfully boosted back to shore and touched down at SLC-4E's LZ-4 landing pad shortly after liftoff. Finally, at 12.27 a.m. EDT on Sunday, June 19th, a third Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from SpaceX's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station LC-40 pad carrying a single spare Global Star 2 communications satellite and apparently several secret rideshare payloads. Falcon 9's Global Star launch occurred just over 14 hours after SARA-1, breaking SpaceX's record time between two orbital launches. Elon Musk then also congratulated the SpaceX Falcon team on Twitter. Besides that, he also said that the super weird thing is that Falcon 9 is still the only orbital booster to land or refly after all these years. The only thing keeping the other orbital rocket programs alive is government protection, or they'd be deader than a doornail, and everyone knows it. But oh well, come see, come saw. Who is he mocking? Well, can you guess? Regardless, Falcon 9 is still a legend. 
there's no doubt about that. Interestingly enough, Global Star's FM15 was also SpaceX's 26th launch of 2022, averaging one launch every six and a half days in the first half of the year. June isn't over, however, and SpaceX still has plans to launch Starlink 4-21 on June 25th and the SES-22 Geostationary Communications Satellite on June 28th. If both launches avoid delays, SpaceX will end the first half of 2022 with 28 successful orbital launches. Perhaps even more significant, after another two launches in the last days of June, SpaceX will have launched 17 times in a single quarter, equivalent to 68 launches per year if sustained for four quarters. In the history of spaceflight, a single rocket family has never successfully launched more than 61 times in one year, but SpaceX can reach that milestone. And I believe that if it does, that would be truly amazing. Musk even plans to launch Starship three times per day, so if they are successful, that will surely change the entire rocket industry. And of course, it's worth the wait. Notably, the trio of launches took place days after internal criticism of Elon Musk erupted into public view. An open letter circulated within the company networks on June 15th saying Musk's public statements had become an embarrassment for some employees, distracting them from their work. The letter called on SpaceX to publicly address and condemn Elon's harmful Twitter behavior and separate itself from Elon's personal brand. It also demanded that the company's leadership be held equally accountable for addressing workplace issues and better define its zero tolerance policies for unacceptable behavior. Company sources who spoke in the background because they are not authorized to speak publicly said they believed several hundred employees had endorsed the letter before it was taken off company networks. Neither Musk nor SpaceX did respond publicly to the open letter. However, in a memo to company employees on June 16th, SpaceX's president Gwynne Shotwell said it had fired a number of employees involved with the open letter. The New York Times first reported the firings. Shotwell claimed in the memo that the letter solicitations and general process made employees feel uncomfortable, intimidated and bullied, and or angry because the letter pressured them to sign on to something that did not reflect their views. Disseminating the letter, she said, went against company policies and does not show the strong judgment needed to work in this very challenging space transportation sector. Shotwell said the letter was a distraction for the company as it worked on activities that included the three launches that were coming up. We have three launches within 37 hours for critical satellites this weekend. We have too much critical work to accomplish and no need for this kind of overreaching activism. And with that, today's episode has come to its end. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And as a quick note, if you have advertising needs, you can contact us directly via email. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time. Until then, have a good one and take care.